I went to university for a couple of years and it was a waste of my time. Um, I think for some professions it works well, you know, traditional like doctor, lawyer, that's that kind of stuff. Um, but I think as a default path, it's terrible. Like I look back and wish I'd traveled or done something for, you know, those couple of years instead of, you know, when you're 17, 18, you're still a kid, you don't know anything. But when I was in school, I felt like it, we had to decide what we wanted to be forever. Like that's what the kind of thing we were sold, which is completely wrong, but you know, that's how it was. That was whatever, 15 years ago. So personally, I'm a bit burnt out. I, I don't think, I think university and higher education has its place, but I think you need some life experience first before kind of making those big decisions. I need a standing desk for starters. I find it very hard to work at a sitting desk. Um, so I like to work standing. Uh, I really prefer to work by myself, so, or a small office. Um, yeah, I mean, standing desk, laptop stand, keyboard and mouse, nice and quiet, headphones on. That's kind of me. Yeah, I find it hard to work in co-working spaces just because there's so much going on. People moving around, it's just a big, it's often just a big open room. So, you know, I prefer to work in a small office. I'm happy to share an office, but you know, I just don't like lots of things going on, like distractions. For me and my business, my primary business, we deal with a lot of Australian clients. So because they're higher dollar spend, I still need to get on the phone a lot. So I, I try and be inside the Australian time zone or close to it. I couldn't be 12 hours away from it. it would just, the business would be too hard to work. So kind of Australian, any part of Asia that's kind of north of Australia works for me, works well. So when we had our first company, so we really had two companies. So we had an IT company, and then we we managed to acquire an e-commerce business for free that we grew very quickly. And the goal was simply to build it bigger. It was like bigger is better, and it wasn't really, you know, we didn't really think about the why. Why do we want this big business? So I guess for me, having a better reason, understanding my own motivation first, and then building the business to support that, I guess there was a lot of ego involved as well. Being young, it's kind of the first business and the first business we have some success with so yeah that's a lot of mistakes checking the ego understanding the why just knowing what you want more rather than just doing business or building a business for business sake for me because I'm a problem solver I guess like a lot of business owners I find it I have found it really hard to delegate and just give stuff away and just even to the point of giving away ownership of it. So I still feel even today, I need to check myself a lot. I'm like, why am I doing this? One of our staff can do it like it's a technical problem or, you know, I'm sitting there dicking around in code. I'm like, hang on, you just spent 20 minutes doing this. It's gonna be, you know, another two hours to fix it. Just give it to one of the developers. It's, you know, just that. Stop trying to do everything myself, I think is, you know, that's, and, th and you know, you, you have this traditional business owner mindset where you can do it the best. So you wanna do everything and it just, it just doesn't work like that. That's not the real world. So 